and then from there, I, I implemented the, the program. So <clears throat> I took what you guys were saying in the survey, and then I applied it to our educational program to help, to help you all out. And then once you've taken one of our programs, you'll get another survey asking how that program was. What is it, you know, what did you like, what did you not like, what should I not do next time, or what can we tweak better for next time. And then so, at the end of this school year, I'll take the results of that survey, reconvene the focus group, find out what you guys are, are telling me as far as what you're looking for in an educational program, and then I present that to the park director so that he knows the goal and the focus and where the education uh, department is headed. And then so, the, and so we'll take the results, I'll present those results to the park director, and then next school year, I'll apply them to the programs that we offer so that all of our programs remain relevant and fresh and um, what you guys want, because that's what we're here for. So that's basically the education plan. And then you can see, j just from there, it, it circles around and around, um, you know, so that we are, that, that, so we're dynamic and that, and that we're fresh and relevant to you guys. All right. So you can look in your brochure, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the binder there, and, and look under survey. Th that's an example of the survey that I did send out to you guys. You don't have to fill it out right now. I just want to give you an idea of what the survey um, was asking and some of the questions. It was sent out to every Berkeley County elementary and middle school teacher in November. And then I closed the survey in, uh, in January. I had 278 people respond to the survey. And <laughs> I sent it to Mr. Thompson, and he forwarded it on to, to everyone. Um, but that's okay, I got plenty of, <laughs> plenty of uh, participation. And so the, the goal of the survey, again, is to get an idea of what you think about sustainability and then also what you're looking for in an outreach program or a field trip. All right. So let me just go through this data real quick. Um, I asked, the first question was, that, well, how many of you guys are taking field trips? All right. Out of 278 of Berkeley County teachers, 129 said none. 129 teachers in Berkeley County do not even take a field trip um, in a school year. And then 149, I think, or 143, take one or two field trips. And I'd be interested to know the percentage of those teachers that just take one. Um, but you can tell 97.8 of Berkeley County teachers either don't take a field trip or only take one or two. And so that, <laughs> the deck's already stacked against me um, when I see that survey. I expected this, you know, I'm not oblivious, you know, I, I didn't expect most people to have six or eight or nine. I understand this and I understand um, where you guys are coming from. This number here that takes zero was a little higher than what I, what I had anticipated. Um, also, I, I didn't mention it, but I'm the son of two retired teachers, so I, I completely understand. I grew up in, in that household, so um, I'm right there with you. So, that, so th that is the amount of people that are taking um, field trips. So the next question was, how important to you is incorporating aspects of sustainability into your classroom curriculum? Do you care about that? Do you not care about that? Um, could you go either way? And, and keep in mind in the survey, I, I define sustainability as that Brundtland report so that, so that people know what, you know, so that we're all kind of on the same page as what sustainability is. Um, 138 of the 277 teachers said that it was very important to them. And then 91 teachers said that it was um, you know, important to them as well. So the majority of Berkeley County teachers view sustainability as something that, that is important to them in, in their classroom curriculum and something that they can use. So even though you guys aren't taking field trips, I'm encouraged by, by this number that you know, the focus and, and the expansion of the education program um, that, that, that there is a demand and, and an interest out there. All right. So then I created uh, what's called the sustainability series, which are um, five classes. I, I've only have four listed up here, but five classes that I can teach your students or introduce concepts of sustainability to your students through these programs here. Um, water cycle, energy conservation, pollution waste, animal habitats. Um, a, a, animal habitats, I've now broken out into two, or two classes, animal roles and then Habitats class. And so you can tell here, um, the red bar here is the relevant. Um, and the question is, is this relevant to your classroom or to your classroom curriculum, or can we make it relevant to your classroom curriculum? And every teacher 
out of every one of the classes, most teachers said that yes, um, it, it's most relevant to our classroom. So even though you're not taking field trips, you're interested in sustainability, you're also interested in kind of the avenues that I'm going to take or can use to, to teach your students about that. All right. So the next question is, when you're planning a field trip, what are the important factors in choosing a program? So what are you looking at if you've got the money, you, you want to do a field trip, what do you look for when you, look, when you start to book a field trip? And so most teachers said they want a hands-on learning, they want something that connects to your classroom curriculum, and you want to talk by someone who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> so um, again, that's something that I can bring to your, you know, take this data, analyze it, all right, now I provide hands-on learning. I meet your state standards, and I'm not going to talk about, you know, some African mamba or something like that. You know, I'm going to talk about things that I know and that are, that are related here in Berkeley County in the low country. All right. So the next thing, again, not a complete surprise, but I ask teachers, what are your limiting factors? Okay. You want a program. This is what you look for in a program. What is holding you back from booking a field trip with us? And... <laughs> No surprise there, cost. It's all about the money, right? Not a complete surprise at all. Um, the other one that, that I found encouraging was relevance to curriculum as well. So not only do you want money, or um, do you need the money to book a field trip, but you also want that field trip to tie in directly to what you're teaching in the classroom as well. All right. And then the last question that we'll go over talks about what, um, when you're booking a field trip, or how can we work with you to book a field trip? Or how can we work with you to incorporate or integrate these sustainability concepts into your classroom curriculum? So I'll, I'll highlight some of the quotes that kind of summarize all the 250 some odd um, responses that I got. Uh, one teacher said, we haven't been allowed to go on a field trip in three years. <laughs> right? Yeah. We've seen at the park, We've seen our public schools go down and our private schools go up. Mm -hmm. um, have programs that can be brought to the classroom. Have more in school opportunities that lead to out of school or um, yeah, out of school follow up activities. And what that means is, I'll come in, teach something, and then that, that you can use later on um, in your uh, program, <coughs> in your classroom. Maintain an up to date website <coughs> with detailed descriptions of your programs. I don't know what they offer. It'd be great if Old St. Canal Park could bring field trips to the school. Review the standards. Build a program field trip that aligns to them. <coughs> right now, there, there are no funding for school field trips. Provide information on how sustainability is cross-curricular. <coughs> Persuade Berkeley County School District to let us take field trips. <laughs> um, talk to our principal about the benefits of field trips. I can do that. And last but not least, well, St. Canal Park does a great job already. I didn't make up that last one, but <laughs> I, I did want to include it. Um, but we're focused on these three here, and we'll use these three quotes to kind of talk about what we can provide you in, in your educational programs, okay? So the first one is, I don't know what they offer. I know you, you just saw the video, and um, if, in, in the binder, you should find a brochure that has our educational programs. And I've got extras up here if someone needs, needs a, an, an extra brochure. So go ahead and get those brochures out. OK. Go ahead and just pass some back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does everyone have one? So take a minute and look at the at the programs and all the stuff that we have to offer. <coughs> 